Why do you think you need a glass car out? You grab an extra light, right? Yep. You got one? Yep. You gonna show me? Yep. Show me your light. All right. <laughs> This is Marie from Mar Oki Homestead. More storms and more storms. I'll show y'all more of that. Tell um, us the weather report. Strong thunderstorms will impact portions of Willow River. I don't know what that is. S E V I E R. I don't know. Severe. Southern McCurrent and Northwestern Bowie. Bowie, whatever. Bowie. Bowie, yeah. yeah. And Northeastern Red River countries through 12:30 p.m. CDT at the 1139 CDT, a Doppler radar was tracking strong thunderstorms along a line extending from 8 miles north of Locksburg to 10 miles west of Horatio, I think that's how you say it, to 9 miles of east of Manchester. Movement was southeast at 12, 20, 25 miles per hour. Not 12, 25 miles per okay. hour. Okay. Hazard wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour and penny sized hail. Ugh. It's raining pretty good now out there. So it's basically hitting us southeast McCurtain County and uh, northeast Texas, yeah. just south of us, and then Arkansas that's just east of us. Mm -hmm. I didn't see, see a line earlier. That's probably what that... Uh, I'll probably simmer down a little bit. Yeah, hopefully the electric won't go out this time. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's blowing and going now. Huh? I said it's blowing and going out there now. Hopefully it ends in 14 minutes. Mm -hmm. This is the worst part so far of it. Yeah. Like after, after this part, after like a minute, right now, like after this minute, it says that it's supposed oh. to be like going all, oh. like it's just like, going away after this. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Looks like little velociraptors running around. I didn't really want them free ranging at this point yet. Uh. <laughs> Seems like some of these storms, just about every time one rolls through here pretty good, we end up with some kind of damage in part of the course. Of course we did. Let me show you our flooded yard. It come down so hard and so fast earlier and the wind blowing and going. I don't know if y'all can see it from here. Their pen, the tarp got so overloaded with water it collapsed the pen. So, they turned around and got loose. But at least they're big enough. They know where the food comes from. So, I, could act, I actually called them up here and fed them some here on the porch with the chickens. Of course, my chickens always come running. So, these guys decided they're going to come running too. I bet if I had ducks, they'd be having a blast right now in this water. But these turkey babies, they've been out here. Since the storm went on through and they cut and the chickens come back out after the storm, they kind of come out with them. That's the good thing about having the pen inside the pen because they all already know each other face to face. And matter of fact, a lot of times I would see the toms would be sleeping, nesting, uh, not nesting, but like just laying down resting uh, outside of their pen. So, I mean, they knew there was turkeys in there too, so... That's what I'm doing, is just watching what they're doing. Wanted to make sure that, because they took off flying a while ago, uh, they don't fly too far very well at this point. And I am not clipping wings on any of my birds, because if they're free-ranging, they need to be able to try to fly to get away from if something's after them. That's why I like to free-range them, because I like them to have a chance to get out and eat the bugs, they eat the grass, they eat the green stuff. And that's good for them. And so, and it may, helps make the eggs more nutritious. And so, I just prefer them to free range. And it was messy porch, but I don't care because I have not had uh, any predator losses since they've been up here by the house. It was between the two gardens. It's handy when we have stuff that's been eaten on. We can just toss it over fences and it goes straight to the chickens. Or we just toss it out in the yard and they get it out here. So, I really like it better with them up here. All I know is if you've got them too far away from your home or where a lot of commotion is usually going on, 
then that really increases the amount of predator pressure because a lot of predators do not want to come up close to your homes and stuff especially if you you know when you're outside and you're doing stuff and making noise and stuff and so they tend to stay away from areas like that it's easier to take care of them because they're right outside the door it's easier to bring the eggs in the house because my plan was i was going to move the mama turkey that's with the younger set of babies and put the babies in this bigger pen turn the mama back loose and then go ahead and raise that second set in that cage and now that cage is runt uh, I don't even know if it's repairable the way the the water just bent the frame of it all up See Jake's up here You don't think nothing of the chickens But I worry that the turkey babies might be extra flighty since they're not really used to anything out here Just what they've seen from their pen and so it's good. That's another good thing uh, th about the fact that being up here was they were already used to us being up here in the yard and around the pool and stuff. And so uh, when I come out earlier, I just toss some food and here they all come running, uh, including them. So <laughs> anyway, I mean, I'm going to see about maybe getting a different kind of pen set up. Because one thing I have learned this year about the turkeys is I need to be able to have those mamas separate on their nest of eggs totally runt this I believe I don't think that can even be bent back into shape there's so much water got caught up on it I could not get it where it wouldn't quit holding water <sighs> yeah it broke that I don't know if that can be even fixed man but yeah it broke so then they all got out and we just had oh my gosh your sister's corn she's gonna freak out oh my gosh i've just our pool umbrella got blowed over here it's such a muddy mess from all the rain i'm letting the mama hen out with her babies too so i'm just gonna have them all mixed up yeah, I tried to throw the feed where it wouldn't get wet. That way y'all can all eat your food. Me through here. Yeah. See, the hens are already wanting to come out. I always leave it open at the bottom so they can come and go. I just seen the little, y'all see the little peepers? We got baby chickies. Little baby chicks. The hens hatched them out some chicks. And I got mama turkey somewhere in this mess on a, sitting on a nest. But yeah, half that tractor is like in a mud hole or something. I don't want them left stuck there in the mud hole. So at least this way they can hang with the rest of the group. That mama turkey, that gray slate, blue slate, that slate hen has been, she laid a couple more eggs in that tractor after I moved it. So I kind of wonder if she's going to breed again and try to have another nest with this being July. I just wanted to come out here and check on all of them and make sure that all of them still doing good. Yep, yeah, but yeah, see it's grooming time. They're wanting to groom. Settle in for a nap. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get back in the house so I can cool off because everybody stay hydrated out there. Have a good one.